My name is Alexis Berry and this is a video of a dietary habits consultation completed on the 12th of April 2022. All right. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I have one foot still flying, it's way in front of the other. Oh, good. All right. Um, life of a cattle farmer. We're going to perform a dietary consultation today to determine your eating habits and how we can improve them. Sounds good to me. Right. As a fitness coach, I'm only allowed to give you general advice based on the Australian dietary guidelines. Anything beyond that, we would need to do a referral to see a dietitian or a nutritionist. Yeah, what, what you can't help me with, just point me in the right direction and... I'll find my way. That's what the Southern Cross is for. Alright, so we'll get started with this questionnaire. I'll start with your name. It's mm -hmm. Edward Erickson. E D W A R D E R I K S O N. And today's day is the 12th of. April 2022. Dietary goal. So, what sort of, what are your goals to do with your diet and your eating habits? Oh, well, no spring chicken anymore. I, I, you know, uh, last time I ate healthy cocky was an egg, mostly red meat. I had six, seven days a week. Uh, I like to like my coffee, you know, and, um, you know, probably. Oh, the diet just doesn't look good for like long term. I've got that health goals. Um, you know, I'm trying to think the diet's going to link me to an earlier, earlier grave. So if I can kind of clean and tidy that up, just get a bit more, mm -hmm. you know, awareness surrounding healthier eating, healthier lifestyle. That that would make a, a great difference to quality of life. I think. Awesome. Okay, so your dietary goal is to eat healthier, lose weight? Yeah, I'd like to trim about 10 kilos or so. Maybe. I'm just trying to have the realistic expectations. I figure if I make it to 10, I can, I can fit in another five more. Just see where we go, baby steps. If I set 20 kilos straight up, I fail. I want to give up and stay giving up, so I end up. Yeah, that's fair enough. All right, cool. Um. Special dietary requirements. So, do you have any allergies, diseases, and food intolerances? No, no. Okay. No. All right. Serves per day. So, I'll show you this questionnaire here, so you can see what's on here. Um, serves per day. How many serves of vegetables do you usually eat per day? It varies from any given day. It could be half served today, nothing tomorrow, full the day after it just depends how good the steak is on the night really <laughs> so so you know it's probably like it, zero it to varies one. so yeah i'd probably go to zero to one per day okay how many serves of fruit do you usually eat per day uh, a bit like the cattle really i graze and <laughs> sometimes they find their way in there so probably the two to three per time <coughs> They taste a little bit better than veggies. Yeah. They do, yeah. <laughs> for sure. You know, they say, you know, mm -hmm. buddy, what's the difference between broccoli and a booger? Oh, kids will eat bloody boogers. <laughs> you know, <they>. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> right. Probably tastes better. <laughs> yeah. How many serves of bread and cereals do you usually eat per day? Oh, uh, bread, that would be a daily occurrence, that would be. No, you know, buddy, yeah. Yeah, about, well, you know, there's always a sanger in the esky or something like that, man. Something bread-wise, cereal. About 50 50 mix that one, so like, yeah, no, I'd uh, probably have to go the four to five serves per day kind of thing. Right. How many serves of dairy do you usually eat per day? So, you mentioned you drink a lot of coffee with added milk. Yes, what's a serve of milk? 250 mil, thereabouts, yeah, buddy. Oh, no, we'd have to go six plus. Okay. Yeah, no, buddy. I think buddy, the bloodstream's made up mostly of caffeine and, and milk, <laughs> that aspect, isn't it? How many serves of meat or alternatives do you usually eat for that? Meat? Alternatives? What, like tofu? Yeah, stuff like that. Oh, no, yeah. don't go nowhere near tofu there <laughs> or any of that artificial meat. No, meat and meat through and through. Buddy, I'd have to go, oh, the 
per day, at least two to three. Dietary choices. Looking at the list below, how many discretionary choices do you think you have in one week? So, well, can they be a mix of all of the above, or just kind of pick one? You can a mix of all of the above. Yeah, like a food junkie, man. <laughs> you know, the ice cream. That's like a daily occurrence. Processed meat, daily occurrence. And to not have thick or thin snags, it'd be just bloody un-Australian. <laughs> uh, snacks, like, nah, skip the crackers, you don't really get into that. Uh, plain biscuits, yeah, no, nah, I'd always kind of like have a bicky with the buddy, with the carpa, if that's to be done. Oh, buddy. Yeah, nah, <laughs> off the old bloody, <coughs> off the old lager wagon, so you know we'd have to chuck in a couple of cans of soft drink a day. Oh, buddy, you know, just that. Keep up old habits, so you know, buddy, don't go to nut house. Cake, you know, there's always tea cake laying around, so something, you know, you know I don't have the luxury of fried dog chips, no, my <laughs> pie, pasty, you know, you just sneak one or two of those in a week, no one's looking. Um, yeah, no, I'd, yeah, no, that'd be about it. So, yeah, we'd have to go 10, 10 plus serves per week. Okay. I should have a bigger number on there, really. Trainer use only. Does this client require a referral? We put uh, no for now. Nutritional strategies to assist goals. So basically what I would suggest would be to have a more balanced approach to your diet. Um, maybe have more fruit and veggie serves and less serves of red meat and then discretionary choices as well because they have the obviously the added fats and sugars um, which aren't really good for you and your weight gain and stuff so, or weight loss um so so would you be suggesting counting the uh, we're australian aren't we so would you suggest counting the kilojoules and and things like that upward and like maybe the average daily intake of, of certain things, or is that um nutritionist? I can give you like a general guideline. So like, for example, like for your age group and being a male, so veggies, uh, recommended would be five and a half serves, fruit two serves, grains six serves, lean meats, so eggs, tofu, nuts, seeds two and a half serves, and then dairy two and a half serves. So it's just about having like a balanced approach. Um, yeah, and that that's per day, yeah. Yeah. yeah so okay. eating more, yeah, like you know, like nutrition dense. So like, would it be worth keeping and, like a little food diary kind of thing, and just kind of make notes of you know what I've kind of started to just transition into, so keep more of an eye on it over a period and just see if it needs improving. I think that's a good idea. I don't think that would hurt. I think that's a pretty good idea if it helps you. Um, notice what you're intaking, what you're eating and stuff. Because a lot of the time we eat stuff without even thinking about it and before just, you know we've eaten that way. <laughs> just out of boredom. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true, yeah. yeah. Okay, so nutritional strategies to assist goal. So probably put maybe more um, veggies and fruits. But you did say you do eat um, you eat enough fruit. Maybe just add some more veggies to your diet. Um, reduce the saturated fats like the dairy and the meat um, and and the processed sugars um, isn't very healthy either so probably reduce that just get it from the fruit you reckon yeah um, well, it's really worse than the time we gave up smoking <laughs> sugar is very addictive <laughs> um, training Alexis Berry, and the date is twelfth or fourth. Alright, and that's it. That's the whole question.